What's going on people? So today I just want to bring awareness uh, to a scam that's going around. And I know a lot of you guys probably clicked on this video just for the simple fact that Behringer is named in it. And I know how our community is when it comes to Behringer, but we'll expound on that a little later because this is very important. This type of scam has been rampant ever since the pandemic It's existed beforehand. And I want you guys to understand what to look out for when you are about to partake in a scam. So I got this email from Behringer and it reads like this. So Kenneth Holland reached out to me and said, hello, I am a specialist in the market department of Behringer. Our company has been trying to do the best for people who are engaged in creativity about 25 years. But unfortunately, like everyone else, we need support and a lot of new people, but without the right tactics, this cannot be achieved. So from the looks of it, it seems pretty legit. Like this could be a legit email. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, one of the main marketing tactics that you see very popular on YouTube is that, you know, a company will reach out to a content creator that is within a specific niche and provide product for their channel so they can do either a review or just talk about that product just to kind of get some advertisement out there, you know, in exchange for a video or whatever. And, you know, for the most part, I just keep it real and fill in the blank. Sometimes it's just not worth it. And sometimes it is worth it because, you know, they might pay you just for you to cover a product. It's all in fair and games as long as if it's legit, but this is not. And we are happy to announce that we are aimed at expanding our audience and want to cooperate with you because our analysts consider this a good and right decision. Therefore, we are ready to provide you with a flexible marketing system, which means that you will have the opportunity to choose the format that suits you. We will be glad if you are ready to discuss. We will wait for your answer. All the best. Behringer. So I was like, damn, Behringer's having a change of heart. But then I just looked at the email and just knew for a simple fact that this isn't Behringer because I know how Behringer likes to move. So I looked at the emails at kenneth.holland at pobox.sk. Hmm. So looking at that alone, I was just like, nah, this can't be legit. And the only reason why I know that is because of me working with brands beforehand and if they are from that company, if they have a company URL, like it's at Behringer or, you know, for example, a prime example is at Achuria, you know, whatever person at Achuria and they, they are, you know, marketing VP or some, something that has to do with marketing or something, social media, something. But most people wouldn't even know that, especially if you're new to this platform. So be careful of the people that you associate yourself with don't be thirsty. But I ended up playing the game and responding. So I said, yeah, I'm interested. How do I know that you're actually from Behringer? Businesses usually have an email that is exactly like this. And then I give an example that says info at Behringer.com. And here is the message after the fact. The response was this right here. We are very glad to receive your positive response to cooperation with our company. We want to answer all your questions and provide additional and more details. So they went on ahead and emailed me again and gave me this. We are very glad to receive your positive response to our cooperations with our company, which is the same thing they said earlier. We want to answer all your questions and provide additional and more detailed information about your working with us and all relevant documents are attached to the letter for further reference. Also, if you are ready to approach the task in a creative and non-standard way, let us know. And we are always ready to discuss and find the results that will satisfy both you and us. And please believe I wasn't buying it and they attached something to the email. So if we go into the attachment it has is you see Behringer promo. So I was, I was thinking, hey man, maybe this might be legit because you know, that might happen from time to time. Uh, Behringer's information for the advertiser and it says we hear you and you know it goes into all the spills here cost of services procedures payments and such such and such such and such payments for services made in the terms of 70% uh, prepayment 
and all that. And it says uh, clicking the download button, da la la la. I didn't click the download button because I just knew that something was wrong there. Uh, types of advertising. And, and then, you know, everything seems pretty much legit from this point forward. And then I just started looking and thinking to myself. I go and log in on Instagram and I see scam alert by Behringer, the actual company Behringer. And it's practically the same email. And then they address it and say, it has brought to our attention that emails and messages are being sent out to some of our followers claiming to be from the Behringer marketing department. If you received an email like the one below, then please report the account it has come from. If you are unsure whether a message has come from one of our team, then please do not hesitate to drop us a message on our official social media channels to confirm its legitimacy. And props to Behringer for addressing this because you know there's so many people out here scamming. I get so many fake emails for sponsorships a week, maybe about a hundred or so. And I just ignore most of them for the most part. I will put them in the spam folder. It's just so many people that do that. And it, unfortunately, certain people, they don't have the privilege that I, as a content creator, have to talk to these companies firsthand and you know some other people have you know and you got to be very careful if you are a new content creator or whatnot you got to understand that sometimes it might be too good to be true i mean let's keep it real again broke people believe in anything so you will jump on something just because they're offering you money or if they're offering you free equipment which is not free dude you're, you're making a video and you're advertising for them and, and unless it's like a review that's pretty spicy and you talk about some of the bad things on top of the good things then it's definitely not going to benefit them uh when it, you do a video like that and that's why a lot of companies don't holler at me <laughs> but uh, nonetheless though you guys got to be very careful out there people are, are trying to scam very hard right now times is really hard it might not seem that way for a lot of you guys you're not you might not be economically inclined or even interested in basic economics right now but people are scamming for a reason because they want the the most amount of money hey christmas is here they want to, <laughs> they want to take their family out on trips girlfriend out on trips boyfriend out on trips whatever bruh be careful